Welcome to this one through of our Launch Sync Pro XL. We're using today the BCR XL and the Machina Jam, which is a great little controller. It's basically replaced my Akai APC40 in my default setup. How we got that set up in the MIDI settings is quite simple. We've got the BCR XL enhanced script from Sigabolt and the Machina Jam. Plus I've got the Messina Jam set up for inputs and outputs for track and remote. It's really simple the way these things come together. I've got eight tracks filled with clips and I can move using the Machina between banks of eight at a time or with the shift button, just move one track at a time. As you notice, as I move around my set, the BCR, is following. The BCR is the little yellow box at the butt top. And the beauty of this is the, the BCR in mixer mode is controlling my sends. So at the moment I've got control of tracks one to eight. But if I move, so I'm tracks two to nine, my send controls are updated correspondingly. I've also got the ability to move up and down the send banks, so I can control up to 12 sends. These little beauties are really what's so good about the Machina Jam, the uh, touch strip control. I mean, it's not got motorized faders, but it, it's really good. And when you play a clip, it also gives you visual feedback of the volume control as well giving you that even more hands off the mouse, away from the screen performance. And whilst the Machina Jam allows me to control parameters, etc., with these touch strips, what I'm actually doing is I'm using the BCR and Launch Sync to control some racks. I've got three racks here. The first is Stutter FX, which is uh, actually mapped up to our OctoMap device, which we'll be sharing with you in a future video. But this main rack is my progressive FX. I've got a set of filters, high and low pass, some DJ FX, and of course, DJ EQ. I've actually got that same set of devices on all of the tracks. And this is because I'm using the LaunchSync Pro encoders feature. Now, on the LaunchSync Pro, what I've actually done is I've set up the master to be the BCR XL. I've done that because the BCR has the encoders, but I'm using the exclude functionality by mapping my scene launch buttons of the Machina Jam to the eight buttons on the right here. And what that means is, based on the five, six, seven, eight that I've entered in the exclude window, is when I launch a scene, it's going to launch the tracks 1, 2, 3, 4, 9, 10, 11, 12. It's going to exclude and not launch 5, 6, 7, 8, which for myself are actually one shots and loops and that kind of thing, so not full tunes. This is the real beauty of this particular device. It's the encoders section. I've got eight tracks, but you could go to 16, 14, 24, whatever and I have control dynamically of my racks across each of those tracks rather than just on the device that I'm focused on. I've got 24 controls here, similar to our LCXXL script and the one for the Akai MIDI mix. So what I have control of here is basically the high pass and low pass of track one. And I've got the same of all eight tracks. I've got first bank is set up to the high past, the resonance and the low past. But I've also got the same on track eight as well. Now, of course, you can do this if you quickly move around tracks and focus on devices. But what I have is I have my BCR locked to the Launch Sync device. Now, as I move around my set, so if I move to track two to nine, my Launch Sync device updates what it's controlling 
So now I'm actually controlling the high and low pass of track number two to nine. So I've got four pages of 24 parameters at a time, and I can bank up and down. Um, in this second bank, I'm controlling the DJ EQ. Let me show you really quickly how it easy it is to map. I'm gonna go to bank number three, and we set them some really quick shortcuts to map. Firstly, you can select each of the rows and I'll unmap them. I'm gonna set them to dynamic mappings so that each column of controls will control the corresponding track in my red box. So tracks one to eight, but if it moves to tracks two to nine, it'll control tracks two to nine, etc. I want to set it so that the uh, range is normal, so it goes from 0 to 1 to 127, and set the range at that as well. The middle of these three number boxes is actually a reset value, which means that with this global reset button, which can additionally be MIDI mapped to another controller, it becomes an emergency reset. So all of my map parameters I can reset to their initial values with just one press of a button. Great, especially for starting a set and making sure everything's configured as you see it. Now the mapping's really easy. All you need to do is select a particular uh, parameter, select the row you wish. As I select my parameters, the, the window doesn't disappear because you can see I am actually covered on top. And all I'm doing is I select my parameter, select my row and map and so on. Row three, select, uh, which one should we go for? Corify, Corify and map. And now I have control when I'm in bank three. And go back to to one and you can see the lights on the BCR are updating to show you exactly what values you're at much like the old rings on the APC 40. So with one set of mappings I've got filter control, DJ EQ and a load of DJ effects as well. I've got sends on my mixer pages and I can bank up and down in the sends as well. And of course, I've got the clip launch grid on the Machina Jam. With those fantastic touch strips that give me the indication of what's, it, what's playing. I've also got my follow clip device on each of the tracks that have my full songs in. And what this does is it says automatic follow actions that occur at the end of the clip. So I don't have to worry about looping or anything like that or setting these in advance. I just take a full track, split it into its various sections and it will automatic play all the way through, allowing me to phrase my mixing really, really cool. BCR's controlling DJ effects and my complete mixer, all my clip launching and my volumes. It's a fantastic set of controllers brought together with a enhanced script for the BCR, Launching Pro XL, and I haven't even touched on what the Machina Jam can do with step sequencing and that kind of thing as well. It's a really deep script that comes with the Machina Jam. If you haven't checked it out yet, give it a go.